company is doing some big business now. In fact, royal business. You are getting a look at the first ever Kate Middleton figurine. Design right here in our own backyard. Look at the size of that ring. <laughs> that came to, that <laughs> know, is the right? biggest thing on her, right? We'll tell you how it came to be and how you can order one. We have the company live on the show this morning. No, no, no. Well, it's the wedding everyone is talking about. Royal Wedding Fever has even hit right here in Jacksonville. Coming up, meet the local creators of a new Kate Middleton doll. The first ever Kate Middleton figurine. Adrian Mobley is in charge of product management over there at the Hamilton Collection. Hey, welcome to the show. Good to have Hi, you. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, you know, the, the Royal Couple is going to be popular. People like to see what's going on with that. Oh, them. yes. Well, how do you get permission to go ahead and do, do you have to call the Queen and say, yo, Liz, <laughs> can, we, can we do this figuring? Not quite, not quite. Um, but the Queen did issue a statement as to um, what could and could not be done in her likeness, uh, in Kate's likeness. Mm -hmm. And... Um, there were only a few things, and honestly, it, I don't even remember off the top of my head what they what, what were. What they couldn't do? Right. I, I, I guess they're more, there's the figurine right there. They're more interested in making sure that you show her in a positive light. Absolutely. Because the Royals Absolutely. have been under a lot of criticism. Yes, yeah. yes, that is true. And of course, she has that ring on, mm -hmm. that storied ring. Uh, yeah, you know, the ring probably, how do you, you, it's very detailed. I mean, how do you go about designing this and in, in such small fashion and collectible fashion really make it look so lifelike? Well, that's a really good question because we have a fabulous team of product designers who uh, on November 16th when the announcement was made and she was wearing that stunning blue dress, um, we studied her. We studied every detail of that dress. Of course, the ring, there's been a million shots of that ring. Um, every detail from the top of her head to the tip of her toes. Um, even the rug she's standing on, we've recreated to mimic the palace rugs at St. James Palace. Mm -hmm. So we really do our homework and um, we have a great team of product designers and great team of sculptors. So This is available for the first time today and we're going to be talking about where you can get it in just a second. Little Birdie tells me there's actually going to be a second figurine with her in the wedding dress? Yes. Uh, actually, customers who subscribe to the collection, and it is a collection, mm -hmm. we are featuring a lot of the gowns she will be wearing or has worn already over the course of her engagement and yes we will be offering an exact replica of her in the wedding dress and that's the big question on yeah. everyone's minds is what is she going to be wearing on april 29th so how soon after april 29th do you figure you'll have something available oh uh we will have a sketch probably that day oh really oh that morning uh -huh. absolutely so you think and prince willie feels a little left out because kate's got her own little doll but well it's you know, it's a wedding, it's the bride's day. I mean, I can remember as a little girl watching Princess Diana get married, and it was always about her. Yeah.